every time that, that you come in. Uh, we look at the calendar usually because uh, depending on what time of the season it is, is what programs are kind of uh, in progress or are getting ready to come up in order to help people. And so, uh, I don't know. Yeah, take us off the starting block as to where we're at here in the middle of April. So it is April. We've just wrapped up winter crisis. Yeah. Um, you know, so that one is done and over. We actually were able to serve over a thousand and one hundred uh, in households wow, in yeah. the three counties, which is great. Um, but for May, we are still wrapping up our home energy assistance program. So HEAP, as everyone knows it, you know, um, that one time benefit assistance that goes directly to your heating source. Um, it's a great program. It's one of those things that it's pretty easy. It's a quick application, a call into the office, but it, it, that that payment gets made. It can be paid to your arrears. It is just, it's even a credit that sits on your account mm-hmm. um, to help through the heating programs. Now, obviously, knock on wood, it's going to be 80 degrees this weekend. But on the other hand, almost everyone's heating unit was on this morning. Exactly. And that credit doesn't go away just because the program ends mm-hmm. the end of May. Oh, good. It carries forward. So when we have those cold days that continue on or when it starts colder in the fall, that money is sitting on your account and can apply to that heating source. So HEAP is definitely one of those things for this last month, month and a half, we want people to call in. We yeah. want to continue to serve them and get them that credit that they need on their account. And not to divert you, but you we've talked about uh, before, there are people that uh, you know could be calling in and for whatever reason just uh, don't and uh, and go ahead there's there's not a reason not to there's not a reason not to my staff you know our programs throughout all of Harkidus have different income levels have different requirements and so you know a family of 5 that makes a gross income of around $54,000 qualifies for heap but i also have a rent assistance program where a family of five that makes $59,000 qualifies. Mm. So calling into the offices and talking to our staff about what's going on and just seeing what's available for you is huge. Um, There's often times where age can play a factor and income doesn't. So if you're a senior, there's usually a program that runs for you. Um, And so there's so many people that there's this stigma of they don't want to ask for help and they don't want to call in. They don't want to be a burden. They're, they're pushing by and they're, they're counting all their pennies to make it work. Let us help. Let us give you this one month or this one credit that can tide you over and maybe help you get ahead on another bill or another thing in your life. Be a friendly neighbor or family member and uh, check for someone who might need it. Uh, You know, you always say, I'm asking for a friend. Wink, wink. Well, maybe you are. Right. Exactly. That's, you know, and and your loved ones. I think of our elderly who, if you're one of their children and you're like, you know, mom and dad, maybe you qualify and this could help you be able to have Easter dinner at your home or, you know, buy those presents for birthdays because you got a little bit of help Mm -hmm. along the way. What's the water and sewer um, program? What's that about and how does it work? We have a low-income household water assistance program. It came out as part of COVID stuff. We don't know if it's going to stick around. It might, um, but it does end September 30th. And what it is is, again, a one-time payment towards your water and wastewater program If you have a past due bill or you have a risk of maybe being shut off, we will actually working with all the municipalities in our three county area, as well as some of those private industries that hold those wastewater and and water well type things. um, We can actually make a direct payment to your water department for potentially $1,500 to get you caught up on some of those past due bills. Um, So it's another, it's a great program. It's temporary. It's just emergency based at the moment. Um, I don't know if it'll come back again. Yeah. Um, It's going to base a lot on what the need is. Um, So if we don't see a lot of need, I don't know that we'll see the program again. Um, But again, it's income driven. But call in and check. If you've got a water bill that's overdue, you should check with us and see if we can help you pay it. Yeah, obviously water is so essential for everything. For everything. And we found that out so much during COVID. Mm. You know, washing those hands, being able to wash down surfaces, everything is, it, it goes with water, let alone drinking. Yeah. And so, you know, being able to offer this program that the state has put out is huge for us um, to be able to serve the communities and get them. You know, I think of Harkadis and I go, we, we do the heating, we do the cooling. Now to be able to add that water to the mix is a great resource. 
Yeah, that's that's so valuable. Now you talked about heap, and uh, is anything else currently going on besides besides that? And I know we're getting ready for other things. We are getting ready for other things, but currently we also still have our home relief program. So for people who are renting, um, we are still able to pay some rent, um, electric, gas, even your internet if you needed it during the pandemic to be able to work from home or do telehealth. Um, yeah. Anybody who's been affected by COVID, and when I say that, it's a, it doesn't mean you had to have it. Were your kids home from school? Um, were you laid off for a few weeks? Um, were your hours cut? Did your expenses get higher? Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of ways we've all been financially impacted by COVID. So calling in and seeing, you know, how you can get help if you're a renter in any of our counties, we would love to talk to you. Give us a few details. I always press you about this. Yep. Um, people with children are interested in Head Start and there are like two different levels now, right? There are. We we have been granted the early Head Start program as well as the Head Start program. So we've had the Head Start program for years. Yeah. We've helped families for goodness, as long as I can remember, we, there's been Head Start in yep. our communities. But now we actually have early Head Start, which will go from a pregnant mother until you're able to get into Head Start classrooms. And it's home-based. They're working with you in your home to help meet those milestones with your kids. Um, but also to be that added support that sometimes we need as moms and dads. Yeah. Um, so Head Start is always enrolling. Um, so people should definitely call in. Um, the overall number for all of Harkadis, 740 922 um, if you listen to that, there's going to be prompts for all of our services that will give you the phone number for the actual office maybe you're wanting um, in order to get the services that we offer. So we don't talk to you about everything. I know. Sadly, <laughs> I don't know everything, thank goodness. That's, <laughs> Everybody... not what, that's not what you told your kids. No, no, I know everything. <laughs> but yep, at Harkadis, you know, we are lucky. We have about six or seven program directors just like me that yeah. – are, are in the programs with our staff. Um, but it is fun to get to see as a whole what Harkadis does for the three counties we serve. That's it's what amazing. makes it great to work there, isn't it? It I is. Mean, you get some satisfaction with uh, with helping people. Oh, we can help families through many programs. Um, you know, we've got one thing I wanted to mention was weatherization. As yeah. spring's changing and you can start doing some home repairs, we have a weatherization program that can actually help our low-income homeowners, you know, maybe insulate their roofs and insulate their walls if they're seeing a major utility bill that's through the roof. Um, weatherization's there and can come out and assess your home and see if you're eligible for any of the services they offer, too. Well, that's great, too. Yeah. So you got that one main number, and you can connect from that, right? In Correct. all three counties? In all three counties. Yep. And, of course, our website, you know, at harkadis.org. Um, we try to keep it up to date um, with the links and the phone numbers and the income levels and just all the details you need for our programs. Now, one more thing before you go. I know you've gotten calls already about uh, summer time program it's but we're, we're not ready yet we're right? not ready yet so summer crisis will begin july 1 okay. um it's a great program but our phone lines will not go live for that until about the middle of june um where you can schedule your appointment then starting july 1 to to walk through the summer crisis program to help with cooling assistance i'm more worried about staying warm at the moment i know but I'm looking for the sunshine. I'm watching for it. <laughs> well, good luck sitting outside the baseball diamonds because it's pretty cold out there, too. Yes, I keep my all my layers in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Ellen, thank you so much. Uh, we'll talk to you again, uh, I believe, next month and uh, get updated on uh, what's coming up and uh, what's going on at that point with Harkadis Tri-County, all right? Uh, sounds great. That's great. Thanks a lot. Joe Ellen Sanders from Harkadis here, our guest on the 830 High Beam on the BT Morning Show.